So now after the decoration, we will now add the user information. Padding, we are applying some padding from all sides. Twelve child column widget. First of all, we are going to add a icon button here at the top. So if a user wants to filter out, okay, that is a feature which we will implement in the upcoming videos. For now, we will add the icon button for it. So we can say align. Alignment dot top right child padding padding const edge inserts dot all only from the from the top we want to give it at and then child icon button for now we will leave the click event empty but of course later we will apply the filter feature on it icon start filter list like this and then after this let's add a comment with it that is this is our filter icon button now we are going to display the user data we will add uh, inside a click event that is inside the gesture deductor in which we have the on tap click event that is when the user tap on the user information we will send the user to the user detail screen for that for that specific person on which profile the user will tap so as you know that that is something that we are implementing step by step for now our main focus is to complete the user interface so anyways now we can say child column widget first we will display the name of the user whose profile we are viewing so we can say text widget each profile info dot name dot to string style textile color will be white and the font size 24 letter spacing 4 font that will be bold then after it we will display the age and city so we copy paste that text widget and now here we can say first we will display the edge now go to google and simply search for dot dot text now here you see you have these dots in string or you can set text form just to make the user interface beautiful you can copy this dot or this dot any dot you want okay so what we will do if you scroll here here we have this dot and this one so it is totally up to you let's copy this one this dot okay so you can copy it come back here and inside the double quotes you can pass it so it will be like this okay or if you want to copy the second one then copy that dot it looks beautiful than the normal dot which we have on our keyboard okay so we will have this 
and make sure to use the concatenation sign plus which will combine two string and then after it we will add the we will display the city of the user just like this one more thing is the font size for this will be 14 and the letter spacing will be 4 and we do not want the font to be bold and then after it let's check out how it looks so what reload here you can see Angela Smith the edge dot and then the city now after that we are going to display the work and religion of the user so you can say const size box let's say size box of height 4 and then the work and religion of the user we are going to display so we will add a row widget this work simply means the profession of the user so first we will add elevated button now we are not going to add a click event this is just for the design because we are going to display a beautiful design for displaying this information so we will leave the on pressed empty like this and then style elevated button dot style from the background color for this will be colors dot white 30 the shape for this will be round rectangle border border radius border radius dot circular and it will be circular 16 and then let's add a child to it so after the style you can set text and we will display the profession of the user So how it looks let us just check out it will look like uh, this okay and then after profession display the religion in a horizontal direction with it so inside the same row we will copy paste this and this one is for displaying the religion of the user so you can say religion so now if you check out it looks like this let's add some space between these two that is between the religion elevated button and the profession elevated button size box of width 6 as we are inside this uh, row widget and also we want this to be at the center so for that purpose we can say man axis alignment man axis alignment or center now after the profession and religion we want to display the country and ethnicity so we will copy this row and paste it here okay for the country and ethnicity so first we will display the country and then in the second elevated we will display the ethnicity just like this okay so now if you check out so you can see country and ethnicity now what we want is we want this information here below so for that purpose how we can move it below well it is simple as you can see here we have our filter icon button this icon which we implemented which is at the top okay so we want it at the top and this information bottom so after this filter icon button we can add a widget which is by the name spacer
and it will move it to the bottom just like this you see it is moved here 